All right, welcome back. And this is actually, sadly enough, our last video in this unit. And in this lesson, we're going to look at word problems or solving life's problems. And, you know, I say that all the time in life, math happens. And so let's look at some, some life issues here. And so um, we're going to talk about what operations to use and actually going to look at how to do more than one operation for a problem. Because sometimes you have to do... Um, addition and subtraction or maybe multiplication with subtraction sometimes that stuff happens in life so um anyways in this lesson we're going to solve problems like i said with more than one step and so let's pretend here it's just to warm up our brains and actually i'd be interested if you paused it and try and figure this out but joey pulls weeds and he sweeps sidewalks last year he earned one thousand one hundred forty seven dollars he pulled weeds in 84 yards and earned $9 for each yard. But how much money did he earn from sweeping sidewalks? All right, here's a story. Jake spent $1,523 on hockey cards and baseball cards for his collection. He bought 22 hockey cards for $34 each. Well, how much did Jake spend on baseball cards? So... In order to figure this out, we got to find the amount Jake spent on the baseball cards. We need to first find out how much he spent on the hockey cards. There's more information on the hockey cards in this problem, so that's using that information is going to help us solve the baseball card part. So first we need to multiply 22 times 34. 22 hockey cards for $34 each. And so um, we've looked at a couple different ways of multiplying here, but let's just do a, um, one of each here. Not these are the only ways, but um, the traditional method I could do four times two is eight, four times two is uh, eight as well, add a zero, three times two is six, and three times two is six, and I add those all up, eight, 14, like $748. Uh, if we go to that box method, we can do 22 plus 34. Um, in this box here, this first box here, 20 times 30 is 600. In this box here, 20 times 30 is 60. This box here, 20 times 4 is 80. And here, 2 times 4 is 8. We add all those up. And we get, again, $748. So we have a total of $748 for the hockey cards. But the question was, what about the baseball cards? How much did he spend on the baseball cards? So let's find out how much he spent on the baseball cards. If you haven't guessed, we're going to subtract the amount um, of hockey cards from the total amount he spent. And so we learned in the first... Part, he spent a thousand fifth sorry thousand five hundred twenty three dollars total for both hockey cards and baseball cards we subtract the hockey cards and we're left with seven hundred seventy five dollars in baseball cards so we could say oh that's a problem um, let's find the real answer because obviously my template here is not good so we just double check our work so the total minus um, the amount I spent on hockey cards, we can't do 3 minus 8, so we're going to borrow. Um, 13 minus 8 is 5, can't do 1 minus 4, going to borrow. 11 minus 4 is 7, can't do 4 minus 7, going to borrow. 14 minus 7 is 7, so $775 spent on baseball cards. Here's another problem. Grandma Ruby, oh, Grandma Ruby, she uses 12 meters of fabric to make three pairs of pajamas. Well, if you know that, how much fabric would she need to make eight pairs of pajamas? Well, if we're gonna find out how much she needs for eight pairs of pajamas, we first need to know how much fabric she would need for one pair of pajamas because the original problem, the original idea is 12 meters for three pairs but how can I change that to figure out the eight pairs? So what we need to do is find out how much for one pair. Well, to do that, we take our 12 meters and divide it by three. And so that means four meters for one pair of pajamas. And so using that information now, we can find out 
the now number for eight because we knew four is one and we have eight pajamas to do we do four times eight she will need 32 meters of fabric to make the eight pairs of pajamas so again we had an amount to make this 12 meters for three pairs but we need to make um, really figure out what one pair is to, in order to find eight I'm gonna eat to try one Rita went to a sub restaurant. I'm not going to name any names, but you can probably figure out who I'm talking about. She purchased a six inch sub and wanted to, and sorry, and wanted some dessert. The sub costs $4.23. Well, Rita can buy a cookie for dessert for 75 cents, or she could get three cookies for $2, which is the best deal on cookies. So I'm going to eat a pause that, figure out what's the best deal on cookies, and come back when you're ready. Okay, well, one is 75 cents. So we know that one cookie, 75 cents, but you know, $3, sorry, $2 for three cookies. In that deal, I need to know how much is one cookie. So in a sense, I'm gonna have to do two divided by three. And so that's $2 divided by three. I'm not gonna be able to do that very easily. You will learn to do that later on in your higher grades. Well, let's change it to, to cents and then we can do it a little bit easier. So 200, div, you know, divided by three. And so if you were in our last lesson, you figured out how to do some of the stuff. Um, I'm going to use repeated subtraction for now. Um, I have another question below. Um, that's why I'm going to go as this far. Um, two, three times what? Um, less than 200. Three times 100. That'd be nice, but that's 300. That's too high. So let's go three times 50. Is that okay? Three times 50 is 150. I'm going to subtract that and I'm left with 50. And now I'm going to deal with that 50. Three times what is close to 50? Well, I know three times 12 is 36. Maybe that'll help. I'm left with 14. Well, now I can say three times four is 12, and with one left over, um, let's see if I can move down a little bit. No, I don't wanna see. So minus 12, be two left over. Um, so if I add this up, I have 50 plus 12 plus four. 50 plus 12 is 62, plus four is 66, and that's remainder two. Um, so, and if I can take that back to cents, we're talking about 66 cents, maybe 67 cents for one cookie. So it looks like the better deal is um, three cookies for $2, although you have to eat three cookies in order to, to get it. So it depends on how many cookies you want, really. Now, she's only got $7. Does she have enough money for one cookie? Does she have enough money for three cookies? So again, pause it. Come back when you're ready. Okay, so she had $7 and we need to subtract what she's gonna pay. So um, I need to know how much it's gonna cost for one cookie, so that that's one option. I'm also gonna need to know how much it's gonna cost for three cookies, which was $2. So, Let's, we're going to have to do a couple of things here. So 3 plus 5 is 8, uh, 2 plus 7 is 9, so $4.98 for one cookie. I think she clearly has enough because um, that's almost $5, okay? What about this way? I'll choose a different color, hopefully we can see it. 3 to $6.23. So yeah, that's still under $7. Just for fun, let's just figure it out. So. 10 minus 3 is 7, 7, she would have 77 cents left over to buy three cookies. All right, there you have it. We just looked at a, a few different ways to solve problems with more than one operation involved. And if you don't know what I'm saying about operation, what? We're going to the hospital? No, I'm talking about this, 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 and this. Those are oper operation signs. Um, Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and I showed you a bunch of them. We did dividing, we did some multiplying, we've done some adding and some, and some subtracting. So using um, information from the problems 
and writing it out. I guess I technically should have written sentences in this last problem, but you'll you'll forgive me this time. So guys, um, I'll see you in the next unit. And please remember, in life, math happens. Take care.